Hey everybody, happy Tuesday from Reach Out Reptiles. Now you guys know every Tuesday we do a Talk em Up Tuesday, which is where I take somebody that I know is awesome and I tell you how awesome they are. Just make the little introduction so that you guys know who to deal with that's awesome. By the way, if you know someone awesome, leave a comment down below and let me know that I should do a Talk Up Tuesday about them. And if I don't know them, that's probably somebody I should get to know, right? Just like you guys. This week, we're going to talk about Rob Rausch, a buddy, a neighbor of mine, and actually the guy who built all of these cages, rocked all the way back, the, my nice PVC animal cages with the shelves where they can hang their shed like a dirty towel after a shower. Well, before we jump in with Rob, it's time to find yourself on the filing cabinet. This is a, a time where if you want a shout out on these Talk em Up Tuesdays, shoot me out a sticker, help my collection. Look, I got too much empty space there on the file cabinet. So shoot something over, I'll slap it up on there and uh, tell everybody a little bit about you. Uh, this week, actually, we're not on the filing cabinet. We're uh, at this t-shirt here from my buddy, Michael Wadding. Now this guy is a lizard extraordinaire and when I went to specialize in nothing but the super dwarf and dwarf retics and whatever animals I needed to further those projects, I, uh, I took all my lizards and I sent them over to Michael, all my cool diving skinks and stuff like that and I'll tell you, getting to this guy's house takes me back. I mean it reminds me of all the dwarf monitor and gecko stuff and I don't know, do you guys ever have that where you're like, don't get anything, don't get anything, everything is so cool, I want it all? Well, that's kind of the struggle I have whenever I talk to this guy. But anyways, Michael, thank you very much. You guys check him out on Facebook if you want to see him with his Reptile Life t-shirts and just all the fun stuff he's doing. All right, let's run over to Rob here. We got Rob the, Rob the man, Roush, here. Say hi to everybody, Rob. Hey, everybody. How, how is it that we actually came to meet? I don't know that I even necessarily remember. Yeah, it wasn't at a show... I think you just reached out to me and said, hey, I live close by. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> how I just, I, yeah, I am. I mean, I do randomly pop in on my neighbors like that, but I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember how we initially met. When I started uh, moving my collection on and going more towards super dwarfs, I think you wanted to buy some of my adult breeders off of me. That, that would sound about right. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, Rob actually breeds uh, reticulated pythons, too. And you do a little bit of other stuff, too. you got some berms and balls. I play around with a little bit. Yeah, the, my main focus would be the retics, though, I, and more so with the uh, super dwarf. I do play around with uh, phantoms and orange ghost stripes and stuff like that, but uh, mainly the super dwarfs. Yeah. So a little cross over there. So, yeah, if you want to buy stuff from Rob... Go ahead and buy whatever you want, just not any super dwarfs because that would be a conflict of interest. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, no, he, you know, his stuff is is really cool, and and uh, you know, I don't know. I've always liked your stuff. That's why I end up getting your cages and everything. And so, so uh, yeah, I guess that kind of ties into what would you consider to be your specialty in the you know reptile related? Because now your background is actually as a CNC machinist, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm actually a CNC machinist, been one for about 10, 12 years now. There's been a lot of uh, interest in the cages, um, you know, but at the end of the day, I'm just having fun. You know? <laughs> people need cages and they want cages, I have no problem making them. Uh, I think I found a little bit of a niche that I can, I can get the three-quarter inch PVC, which uh, a lot of people want but it's hard to find. I did. Yeah, I know uh, I did. It just happens that I was able to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a really sturdy cage, doesn't it? Uh, lots and lots of totally custom stuff like you did for me, right? It's what you want to do for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, I have a certain set that I like to do, uh, the 4x2x1, the 6x30x18. He's you being, know, he's being nice cards. because I put I put him through the ringer on these cages. I, cha I made so many changes and stuff. It was... It was a nightmare for him, I'm sure, to get this stuff yeah, done. Yeah, it was the longest two years of my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was 12 cages, so, you know. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely seems like it, for sure. 
All right. Well, cool. So here's a question. If somebody's going to come to you, what, what kind of person do you like dealing with, whether you're selling them some reptiles or some cages or whatever? What kind of customer are you looking for? I like the passionate people, you know. Um, anybody could go out and buy a 10-gallon aquarium for their snake. Uh, unfortunately, I think a lot of people do. If you, and my thing is, is if you're going to spend that money on that quality snake that you really like and you really want, why wouldn't you go, get a good cage? Absolutely. Um, and the people that respect that are the people that I really like to deal with. Um, yeah. I don't like to make junk. Uh, I try to put everything I have into every cage that I build. Um, and I want people to appreciate that just as much as they appreciate the snake. So those are the kind of people I think I really like to deal with. No, that's, that's an awesome point. You know, I think a lot of times people will say, hey, I got $500 to spend on an animal. What's a $500 animal? You know, and they don't think about yeah. the cost of ownership. It, it, it really does, you know, help you connect with the animal and appreciate them for who they are when you treat it like oh, that. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. They're Excellent. living creatures. We deserve that respect, you know. And I, if I see people that are not necessarily they have to go out and buy the biggest and best cage, but put some time, put some effort into it, you know. Um, take care of that animal. You're responsible for that animal's well-being. Um, and I think a lot of people or not a lot of people, but some people definitely look past that and just say, well, I need to get 16 snakes. Well, that's kind of the magic of custom caging is that you have a space and you have in your house or whatever, and then you have an animal and the caging is what allows you to maintain this animal from wherever it originally came from in this space and puts it into your life. So it's actually a huge service if you think about it yeah. that way. Yeah. All right. Well, here's a, a little bit more personal question for you, okay? Rob, what is right. your guilty pleasure? <laughs> My guilty pleasure. Yeah, your greatest oh, guilty man. pleasure in life. We want to know it. Dish. <laughs> I, you know, snakes. I, I just, that's my thing. Um, you know, if I'm having a bad day or if I'm having a good day or, you know, whatever, uh, 15 minutes holding a snake takes it all away. Uh, but I've always been passionate about reptiles. I've had a reptile of some sort for the last 20 plus years. I won't say exactly how many because that tells my age, but yeah, uh, I was lucky enough to live close to Brad McCarthy, who in my mind is one of the greatest breeders around. I was just going to say, you know, Brad, we need to get him on here at some point because I knew about him from back in California. So his reach is it's definitely far reaching. I always say hey to him at the Chicago shows and stuff, but he lives right up the road. And everybody that's anybody that's into reptiles got their start with Brad. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially in this area. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Easy answer, cop out answer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could say, you know, strawberry milk and. <laughs> uh, <Twinkies>, but <laughs> that's what we wanted that's what i was looking for strawberry milk and twinkies oh that's funny okay well just real quick to wrap up rob and thank you so much for taking the time uh to to jump on here and do this man i i really wanted to introduce you to everybody just because every every interaction i've had with you has been you know above and beyond and and just amazing but um but if somebody well, wants to yeah I, don't, I, I'm, I mean that's the truth um, if somebody wants to reach out to you uh, to talk about caging or animals or whatever, how do they? What's the best way to get a hold of you? Facebook. Facebook yeah. Messenger. Private messaging. Facebook. Yeah. Rob Roush. How do you spell your last name? R A U S C H. All right. Yeah. So check out Rob Rob Roush on Facebook. Shoot him a friend request or send him a message or something on there, and the man will take care of you. Sound good? <laughs> Sounds great. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, absolutely, man. Now that the weather's getting a little bit nicer out here in Pittsburgh, we need to get together again sometime. Get the wives and families. and You know, yeah, my, you know my son still talks about it. He's like, what's that nice man that wanted to eat my Cheetos when I went to his house? That's Garrison. So <laughs> he's famous. And then Lisa, Rob's wife, is the one who gives my kids popsicles and lets them watch TV and stuff. So. She loves to spoil them. Oh, easy to buy their love, too, the little brats. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Well, thanks again, man. Hey, you take care, dude. Thanks, buddy.
All right, you too, brother. I'll talk to you. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you next time. <laughs> Good guy. <laughs>